I would like to uh, share some information about the European Research Council, uh, ERC, the ERC. Um, the ERC is uh, a rather new initiative uh, in Europe. Uh, it started uh, six years uh, ago in 2007. It's part of a bigger um, uh, framework uh, program uh, which is um, providing uh, resources, uh, funding for uh, research uh, in Europe. It is a new initiative, it's uh, different than uh, usual for European standards. Uh, it provides quite uh, good funding for both young but also senior researchers uh, who are performing research in Europe. Um, the overall budget of the organization for the period 2007 to 2013 is uh, seven and a half billion euros. This is more or less uh, over nine uh, billion uh, US dollars. Um, its structure also is something uh, different than the rest of uh, the uh, funding that is being provided at the uh, EU level. Um, it has a scientific uh, governance, uh, so it's what we call a science-led uh, institution or a body, funding uh, research body. Um, uh, we have a scientific council, 22 uh, quite high-level uh, scientists from all over uh, Europe. Uh, who are deciding on how um, uh, we found uh, researchers. So they are responsible for the scientific uh, strategy, they are responsible for how uh, the, our peer review system is uh, functioning, is operating. Uh, they choose the panels who are evaluating the, the, the research proposals we are receiving and we receive quite a high number of uh, research proposals. Since 2007 we have received, we have evaluated uh, over 30,000 uh, research proposals and uh, as we speak now we have over 3,000 uh, grants already running in uh, Europe fully supported by the ERC. Um, what is also important is to talk a little bit about what kind of research ERC is supporting and this is what um, the scientists call frontier research. It's not basic research, it's not necessarily uh, to be uh, applied research, uh, it's research that uh, uh, tries to push the frontier of knowledge so on, um, um, because of this uh, funding. Um, this is generous funding, uh, for example, for the young scientists, uh, what we call the starters or the consolidators, funding can go up uh, to uh, 2 uh, million euros for a period of um, uh, five years. Um, this is uh, a good two and a half or even three uh, million dollars uh, for the same period. Uh, whereas for the advanced grant, the most, um, the more senior uh, scientists that uh, they would like to try something riskier than usual uh, using this funding, uh, this can go up to three and a half uh, million uh, euros for the same period. These are the main uh, tools, the main instruments of uh, funding of ERC. We have some experimental schemes that have been um, started recently. I don't want to spend too much time, but people could find out about these possibilities visiting the website of the ERC. What is also uh, very important for uh, scientists outside Europe is that this grant are quite flexible during their implementation. So for example, they allow for um, international scientists, scientists that they may have a dual appointment in an American university and also in a European university um, to use these funds. Uh, it is of course important that uh, the main part of the research should take place in Europe, in a European university hosted by a uni uh, European research organization. But as far as uh, the eligibility of the person who applies but also potentially benefits from this uh, uh, funding, uh, th this person, this scientist could be from anywhere in the world. 